This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This is a word game helper that uses the words data set. Really? Run. I gotta know what it does, right? D. No other. What? Oh. Five. Ah, okay. Test that. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that. So it looks like we pick how many letters the word will be, and it just is grabbing them from what? This? From a data set here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the word, part of this speech, the word per million. So how often, I guess, in the length. All right. Now, lines 1 through 14. Read carefully what is happening. Each partner, hi, partner, by the way, now reads the function on lines. Okay. So let's first look at 1 through 14. And I'm going to slow this way down because this helps me a lot, honestly. Reset, run. It might even be easier to see it as text because you can see more lines. Let me hit run. So nothing happens other than we get these variables at the beginning. Let me look at this. Do we have what? Oh, they don't give us watchers. Okay. And it's going through right now. Function filter. Why did filter just run? because it runs automatically when the program starts. Get the letter drop down. So right here, we're asking filter to run. The argument that's being passed, the argument's just the thing in these two parentheses, that parenthesis and that. Get number, length drop down. So that must be this, we're grabbing the number. Get text, letter, lowercase. Okay, so we have two arguments, right? The letter, the length and the letter, and that would be the number that was chosen here, and the letter drop down here, and we're passing them waiting image until clicked, we create this list, we set the output to empty, and then we say a for loop. What are we looping through? Well, i is equal to zero. i is less than the word list. What's my word list? Way up here, it's the whole entire data set of words we have. Word list length, so I don't know how many words, maybe 100, i++. plus plus. i++ plus plus means add one each time. So what this loop is doing, this for loop is going through i all the way to the end of the list. What is it looking at? If word list i dot length equals equals length. Okay, so if the word that it finds is equal to the length that I have here, which is a one, what does it do? Well, it then says true, and it then makes sure, okay, but is the word list i substring zero to one equal to letter? So what is a substring? This says zero to one means just the first letter, the first index of a word, because a string actually has indexes like a list. So this is zero to one, meaning the only the first item only the first letter of a word words start with an index of zero just like lists they start at index zero and then the second item would actually be at index one this will only take zero to one well the only things in between that is zero it doesn't include one zero is the first item checks the letter and then it smashes a pinned item filtered word list so it adds to our list that word if it matches all those then it's going to keep looping through once it's done if the filtered word list length is equal to zero so if there's no words it says okay that's no options available and has the list say that else we're going to hide the weight image hide the element unclickable so that's i assume covering this and then we're going to set the output text to the filter word list we just created except that list is all separate variables we're going to join so we're going to smash the whole list together but in between each item we put a comma and a space Woo! that's a lot all right let's check this out i'm going to run it a bit faster zoom and four <laughs> five okay so we want to pay attention to lines one through 14. one through 14 so i just ran it in order because we hit this function and i went to the function what we should do, though, you want to make sure to talk about 1 through 14. So this runs the function. And then what's this do? On event. On the event that the length drop down. Let me reset. So this is going to be the, oh, unclickable is showing right now. I'm going to go to design just so we can get, it's going to make it hard to get this stuff. So I'm going to delete whatever this, oh, it's not even showing right now. Well, wait a minute. Oh, it shows over that. Tricky. So I'm going to delete this just for a sec. Notice the length drop down. That's that idea and letter drop down. Let me, can I undo that? Nope. Okay, let me go back because I haven't changed anything yet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the length and the letter drop down. So we are length letter function. So length drop down, when we change that, we grab the length and we grab the text and we run filter. So every time either I change the number or if I change the letter drop down, 
it runs our filter function, which again grabs that letter, grabs, grabs the length, grabs the letter, and runs through and searches for those words. Wow, that's a lot. That's really cool though. Extra time, yeah. Remove the letter dropdown and replace it with an input box. Update the code so that the user can type any number of letters. Erk. Let's start with just one letter to make your life less painful. <laughs> so first, design. We're going to remove, I'm going to just move this up for now, I guess, because it's blocking. So remove the letter dropdown. Bye, letter dropdown. Die. And put an input box. Quacha. Okay. And I'll say letter input maybe and then a placeholder well they had a placeholder of a originally so i guess i'll do that um and then i'm gonna shrink it down i'm gonna have it match kind of this same size well except they can put multiple letters we said so maybe a bit longer something like that and that all looks good the text color i'm gonna have actually when they're typing it be black and if you want to get picky, we could even have it match whatever the color is. This background color, I'm just going to copy Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and then go to border color. No, where's my background color? Background color, paste. All right. And then it's really light right now, and that's just because it is uh, the fill in text, not the actual. And maybe I crank this up one. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. And it's going to bother me if this isn't more centered because that's who I am as a human. My students know that. <laughs> okay, now, boom. All right, now what's it want? Well, let's see if this works so far. So what was this originally? Length drop down, length drop down, letter drop down. So it's no longer letter drop down, it's letter input. I'm gonna say, just so it's easier for you to read, I wanna show you what I mean. I'm gonna go over here, letter drop down, click it, because we don't have that, we have a letter input now. So anywhere I had letter drop down, I need to change it to letter input. Letter drop down, letter drop down. Let me go into text and I'm going to do copy, right? Right click copy. And anywhere it says letter drop down, that doesn't exist. I only have letter input. Length drop down is fine. Okay, I think we got them all. All right, let's see if it works just with one letter right now. So apparently not because it should. So get letter input. Uh, oh, let's see. Look at this. Let's do a three. Oh yeah, it is working. It doesn't work at first because it doesn't equal a value. So maybe we should start it at a value. We just have this placeholder value. Can we give it a value at first? Nope. But what we could do then, since it does have a placeholder value, instead of grabbing letter input right here, get text letter input, well, letter input's not equal to anything when it first starts. So I'm going to delete that actually and just get past the letter A. Already lowercase. Filter, get number, and instead of using this type of code, just right when it starts, that way it will output something when we hit run. The letter A. Okay, great. Now we want multiple letters though. So that's going to be interesting. What we'll do is down here, let's see, 4i. Where does it control how many letter it looks at? Right here. This substring is what it's doing. So our word list, all of those words in the data set, it's looking at, okay? And what is it doing? It's only looking at the first letter. Like I explained, substring is the first index. Zero is the index of the very first letter. One is the second letter. So it says only use one because it doesn't include uh, only include the first letter here because it doesn't go to the second letter. It stops. It says don't do that. So this is just the first letter. How many letters do they want us to be able to use? Any number of letters. Okay. Well, we can have them do that. Let me real quick go to our data though. And let's see if I can rename, delete, convert. Nope. Okay. Let's see how big these get. Okay. So actually what we'll do is to make sure if I put like eight here, it's going to be an issue because if a word is that is not eight letters, the computer is going to say, wait a minute, the word we're looking at right now isn't eight letters. It's going to give me an error. Or it's not technically correct. Okay, so what we're going to do instead of that is instead of doing eight for the substring, let's go ahead and do 
word list i dot nope we want to match the length of our input so uh let's see letter dot length right here and now this will be how many letters we put in we want to make sure that the substring matches we don't have to put a negative one because index starts at zero let's see so a now let's do a b uh <laughs> and see how it does multiple okay now i see about about above okay let's do abo is it gonna go ahead and oop i see an issue so no longer does it do it on because we have to click now or something we want to change that let me go to blocks so we want to make sure anytime we type instead of letter drop down on change let's see letter input on input let's see what this will do five again a b oh and now it works and changes live that's really cool let's see what else we got update the code so the user can type any number of letters and only words that start with those letters are specific uh and that are the specific length will be displayed we did it this one's really tricky but i love these awesome 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 onward